with as many years as we've done this, and with as many different things we've tried, you'd have think that you thought by now maybe we would have hit everything. I've tried every category, have have gotten to uh, explore the whole world of beverages, but the reality is we haven't. Which is shocking. I agree yes. with the category thing. Yeah, when you think about categories of beverages, like right. we have literally, I think, hit everything, but you found something else. So what are, what are we doing? This is a, well, this is a new, newer category, at least. Only true made popular, I think, the last four or five years, something like that. But uh, we are going to enter into the uh, the arena of the spiked or hard seltzer tonight. That is correct. So we have some uh, a couple Trader Joe's offerings for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today, uh, actually there's two, but we're going to lead with one flavor. But uh, we have the uh, Shell House Pomegranate and the Shell House Lime uh, Spiked Seltzer, uh, as, he, as Andrew just mentioned, from Trader Joe's. Uh, these actually, uh, I think we talked about this maybe off uh, not on a podcast but uh, when we were um, conversing live on twitch.tv slash about beverages last week uh, somehow this came up and we mentioned it and it must have just been enough of a seed planted in my brain <laughs> okay when you said have you come up with two things I was like I rattled through a few things I was like you know what let's do that I didn't realize it was going to end up being a podcast I thought it was just going to be maybe something we opened with but oh then sure it these things evolve like this and they, they do uh, so we decided well you know this is something we have haven't done before not necessarily something that i mean i guess i'm I, i'm interested in the fact of uh, uh of exploration and of knowledge yes, uh, yes that i have an I'm idea what this is going to taste like same uh and uh, <laughs> same. so uh, but since we haven't actually tried it we thought well we would do that and uh you actually put up a poll on uh on twitter that's correct and, yeah uh, I put, I, we put one up every sunday now for the last three okay. weeks uh letting you pick one of the beverages that we are going to be having for the podcast and we put up the two flavors of this specific type and uh pomegranate was far and away the winner yes and by so a that's why we're going to try that with the pomegranate first but we all thought well we have the lime here as well so let's just throw that in there and um see how that works uh, yeah for a podcast so yeah i felt it was something. a good time let's try a variety because you yeah. never know like you may have one and you're like oh that's no good and it's like well maybe the other one was delicious right so these were the two that we picked out out of the four there are four flavors complete uh there's a meyer lemon as well and there's a raspberry, raspberry option. right um those just seemed a little bit more the lime too isn't like over the top. The pomegranate was the one you and I were both like, oh, we want to try the pomegranate because right. that sounded a lot different. So uh, five ninety nine for a six pack. Correct. correct. Yep. 12 ounce cans. Yep. Uh, and uh, if you're interested, like I said, because this craze does seem to be based around sometimes a little bit dietary thing. Being whatnot, healthier. Yes. 120 calories, five grams of sugar in the 12 ounce can. So there you go. There's all your info. And these are made from fermented, uh, fermenting cane sugar. That's where the alcohol part comes from. And then some natural flavors and carbonation are added. And gluten-free as well. Gluten-free. So there is all those stats. Let's uh, get right to the... Uh, it, they're clear. They're, yeah, it's, <laughs> Nothing else yeah. to say. It's water. It smells like pomegranate. It smells like pomegranate? And a uh, little something else, too. Uh, it reminds me of a popsicle. It does. It kind of actually kind of reminds me... It does remind me of a pop because of the sweetness that's in Almost there. an otter pop. There is no pomegranate otter pop, I don't believe. No, but they could be but, like, what's the cherry one? But back in the days, yeah, when there was Louis Blue raspberry. Yeah. And, but back oh. in the day where they actually had the different colors. Yeah. Uh, little, think, there I is a little raspberry. Well, because pomegranate kind of has a little bit of that note in it too, but it actually does and smell like And maybe that's what they needed to. And maybe actually that does kind of remind me of the, of the, the blue raspberry flavor. Yeah. Huh. All right. Taste? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. It kind of has a funny, <laughs> it kind of has a funny aftertaste. I'm not sure. What alcohol are they using in here? Do they say? It's, well, it's, uh, they cane sugar. They ferment the sugar. Oh, the fermented. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You did say that. I yeah. like said, okay. All right. So it's just fermented cane sugar. Okay. For some reason, I was like, my assumption was a lot of them you see like, this is a spiked with tequila. Oh, or right. With oh, yes. Or yes. So in my head, it was yes. going to be that. Um, so it didn't have that kind of an aftertaste, but there is kind of like a little bit of, yeah, maybe just fermented kind of flavor after the, the pomegranate, which is not overwhelming. And the, the pomegranate part is not like a super burst of flavor it's kind of it's it's a little more than like the sparkling waters that i'm drinking now that are zero calorie like it's a little right. more flavor than that but it's also not like overly flavorful yeah like i don't know what are you what are you thinking no i agree with you i get that not there's almost a little fake, bubble gum in there fakey it's like but a little bubble it's just bubble gum something yeah there is something yeah it's just kind of 
A little bit of a dark. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I know why people would like this. What's the alcohol on it? That's the other thing five. Think, okay. I mean, I know why people like this. It's like it's it's pleasant. It's not it's like a, it's just a, it, it's a easy drinking alcohol delivery system. Is what it is. I mean, and it's you, only five. No, you've but, you've said it perfectly, I mean, and I think that's kind of what these are targeting. You know, like yeah. your white claws and right. different things like that. Um, and I have never had any of those. This is no. literally my first hard me seltzer too. I've had. Period. Yeah. No, me. I probably uh, me had also. Arnold's and James at some point in my life, but maybe as oh, back to that. Yeah, the, maybe the golden Azima. the wine coolers. It's wet and it's dry. It's my 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 my. <laughs> Where's Bruce the, Willis? Uh, the, yeah, the Bruce Willis one. <laughs> Should have had Bruce Willis here instead of usually we have Phil Seagrams. Collins. But, um. It's fine. Like I said, it's not the, the, the flavor like profile is like, it's nothing, but I can find other more flavorful ways for myself if I, but I don't, but I'm not usually going to get the alcohol part. I'm going for the flavor and the alcohol comes with it. Right. Whereas basically this is like for people who are saying I need some alcohol, but I don't really want to, I don't feel like having, I want to have something or, or, party. A yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That was kind of what we talked about earlier. Right before a uh, pre-show, we did mention quickly, like I looked up like, you know, I was like, okay, well how many calories are there in a martini? Like in general, right. or something like that. You know, this is 120 martini has about 170. So there's a 50 calorie difference there. Like, you know, if you're cutting it that close, then yeah, I, I guess like you kind of have to worry about that. For me, if you, if you put this in front of me or one of my martinis, I'm going to grab a martini every time. Well, like yeah. it's not a, you know, it's not even a contest. So that's, that's kind of like the thing. Like, you know, do you not really like alcoholic drinks in general? So then you just kind of want this fruitier thing and get a, to get a little and buzz then, to and then you happen to get something right, like exactly. that. Or you're at a party and you want to have a little fun or something. Yeah. I don't know. Um, All right. Should we try the lime one then too? Yeah. We can Should we go that. down that rabbit hole? Sure. You you have to finish yours first though. Have to? You got. You got I, I'll pour you less this next time. Okay. Sorry, I did not realize that the, I had poured you quite as much as I did. I didn't even finish emptying it though. So I was gonna say I didn't. Th- I don't think that can's empty. No, it's not. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. That's why it has a little like, like a little pucker at the back. Yeah, there is a little coming. tartness in there too. There's just something on the finish that the almost said is- to me like either not fake but like it almost tasted like stevia kind of thing where it's I, like, I would agree with the stevia yeah i would actually where agree it's with like that. it's natural but sometimes it's like so sweet that it almost turns into like your brain thinks it's like is this not real like you know yeah. that kind of thing yeah but no i definitely agree with you on a little stevia. bit of that um all right so color wise light it you know it's clear yeah. again i think you can say the same thing about this one that you said about the last one it smells like lime lime otter pop yeah lime otter pop yeah. or a little bit of like uh Sprite or something or seven up or something. Lyman. Yeah. <laughs> the taste of Lyman. <laughs> the taste of Lyman. But yeah, no, definitely that it's that sweet with the lime, which makes me think of yeah, yeah. like a, a popsicle oh, the lime otter pop, pop yeah. or something like that. Yeah, you're so, right. All right. You're right. Oh, the pomegranate's way better. This one's actually I was gonna say I like one that one even, much less. Yeah, this one has even less flavor to it. Um there's a little bit there, but I the aroma on the by the aroma, I thought I was gonna maybe like this one yeah. better. I actually like the aroma yeah. in this one, but there's a lot less in the flavor, whereas the pomegranate was the same all the way through, like decent aroma, you know, good enough. Yeah. And then same thing. And actually in the taste, whereas this is, this one's just a lot, this one is a lot more toward like, uh, like I said, I've been having the LaCroix, the key lime, uh, one, which actually kind of has a meringue little sweetness to it in that sparkling okay. water. Uh, and that one has as much flavor of this, if not a little bit more. Well, and that's what, so, if I want something like that, that's what I'm going to go. I don't, I'm just going to go grab a, yeah, the Waterloo or the LaCroix yeah. or, uh, Spindrift is different because they actually add the fruit, but that's right. what I'm going to go for because I don't want, I don't want alcohol in there. Yeah, that's it. I that's always, just, but the, this is, I am not their target. This audience. is correct. That, that we is are, us. We are not that's why we haven't tried them. Audience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my thing. Like, so we have always been about, um, understanding, you know, understanding alcohol and flavors and all those different things. I mean, that's why this channel was started, not specifically about alcohol, but flavor in general, your right. palate, tasting, understanding what you like, what you don't like. And for me, I want things where the alcohol also complements the beverage that it's in and it's not just completely covered up by it. Right. You know, that's why even like if I make a margarita, it's like it's not doesn't just taste like lime juice. Like you taste the tequila, you, right. taste, you taste all the that, elements yes. in it yeah. because you want that th- alcohol thing t- for me to add and accentuate right. and be a part of the of the discussion as opposed right. to like, you know, this you could hand this to someone and say, what do you think of this? And you're like, that's an okay sparkling water. Right. Like you, you wouldn't, wouldn't know the alcohol is in right. there, which for some that is like, if 
for some, me saying that is a ringing endorsement for this product. Right. And for th- us, for us is not. Right. And that could also, and that could be dangerous though too, because then Fair. you don't realize until it hits you and you're whatever, how, whatever, however many it takes you, two, three, four in. Six. And all of a sudden you're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's no alcohol in there. No, there's a, no, you would, you would not know, at least, at least we would not know. Unless you told me that, unless you tell us that that has that in there. So that flavor that I talked about in the pomegranate one is just a little more present in the lime. That little, like, you know, we were talking about what kind of alcohol is in here in the fermented. I get more of that fermented kind of like just that alcohol kind of flavor on the finish there. When I took a big sip, the lime just isn't enough to completely cover that up, which I think if you're a drinker of these particular products, I I don't think you'd like that one as much. So definitely if you're going to try one of these, I would try the pomegranate, probably the raspberry would also be in the same ballpark as that kind of goodness as well. The pomegranate sell they actually, they, they, they all sell kind of about the same. Uh, the raspberry sale has started to pick up lately. The pomegranate is usually the better, uh, the better seller. Oh, Um, is it? Yeah. Of the, of them all. I, that's the one I think sells the best, but they, they sell, you know, it's how long have, how long have okay. these roughly been around? Like these, I see the article here is May. That they're talking yeah, well, about. that was in the flyer. that red. The raspberry was new, came out for the flyer. Oh, okay. We just had the we just had two actually before that. That was the third. The lime is actually the fourth. Oh, interesting. The, ra- the pomegranate and the lemon were around for a while, <laughs> and I'm gonna say two at least two years. They've been around. So okay. Um, Honestly, we haven't had any of these other ones. Like if we really wanted to say what's better or worse than right. something else, we should try like one of those other ones, which we may at we some could. point just yeah. kind of is like a little kind of a one off kind of thing. Um, but between these two, I would definitely go with the pomegranate. Yeah, I would too. Uh, and, and, I, and I think that one in, in particular, that one I, I think is fine. If the thing right. you are looking for is like, I want a sparkling water and not know that there's alcohol in it, but I'd like a little alcohol. It works well with that. Like yeah. I said, the lime does not cover up the the fermented alcohol flavor kind of at the end it's not vodka but it's kind of in that ter- there's like that kind of right little flavor where you're almost like hmm, is there something off in here <laughs> yeah something, what happened to my sparkling what's water? the matter with this what's the matter with my what sparkling happened? water what's the matter with the sparkling water he's a bum no i think that was a chant wasn't it was oh. that a cheerleading thing <laughs> <laughs> wow i know it's being it's thrown. a vicious one i did <laughs> i said something uh referenced a cheerleading thing earlier and my wife was like what is that from? I was, I was like, oh, it used to be a cheerleading thing. And they were, she was like, why do you remember that? I'm like, I don't know. It was from high school. It was written by the same people who wrote the Armor Hot Dogs theme song. <laughs> oh, God. Let's not get into the Armor Hot Dogs theme song. Not at all. Uh, but we would love it if you would get into uh, either our website at aboutbeverages.com or uh, if you go over to YouTube and subscribe to us there. We would absolutely love that. Uh, thank you guys so much lately. Like I said, uh, views have been up, uh, minutes watched, all those things. These are things I am always looking at. Uh, and they are definitely up, and I appreciate that so much that people are checking those things out. Yeah, thank you. Uh, if you only want audio versions of all these podcasts, uh, the best place to go, obviously, is usually iTunes, Spotify, uh, Google Podcast, any kind of podcast place uh, that you'd like to go to. We are probably on there. We are uh, in some form. And if we're not, let us know, and we will try and uh, get there, because we want to be where you want to be <laughs> is, uh, is kind of the key. Now, there are some other uh, things that we need to talk about. Yes. The three pillars? Three pillars. The three pillars. Uh, the three pillars of social media that yeah. we use uh, in, uh, let's say, you want to do descending, ascending, order. ascending order. Okay. okay, I like it. So what are you starting uh, with? We're going to start with Facebook. Okay, good. And we're going to move up to Instagram. Okay. And then Twitter. Twitter. And like Twitter like Twitter's is almost top. like our Michael Jordan. Like it's the best. <laughs> That's the one we use the most. That's like, the one. It's the goat right there. It's Michael right. Jordan. And the other two are just kind of, you know, down the way. Yeah, you, we are frequently, well, you especially are frequently during the week letting people know uh, what games that you are playing. We'll let you know when we're going li- gonna to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages. Uh, I tweeted actually just, just a little bit ago you to did. let people know. Um, and um, and yeah, there's all, you'll find all kinds of information. You'll find our uh, poll when we put our poll up uh, for the week week and um it's not against terms of else. service it's totally okay we can put our poll up it's okay <laughs> it's all right <laughs> but uh as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it a shot <laughs> <laughs>